Welcome back to another video here. Today I'll be showing you how to install the petrodactyl panel uh, on your VPS or your dedicated server. First, get yourself a dedicated server or a VPS. So I'm going to use digital ocean here. So let's just select a random location. So let's just select Frankfurt. So now uh, the next thing you need to do is select the operating system. So you can select Ubuntu or Debian uh, or any others which uh, petrodactyl supports. I'm going to use Ubuntu 22 and i'm gonna choose the type here so i'm just going to select regular so i'm not going to select anything extra here so i'm going to just uh, select password all right so i'm logged in over here so the first thing i have to do is i have to do apt update and apt upgrade okay so now that's done uh, let's install the petrodactyl so first you have to go to the github uh, and get the script so you can just uh, click this to copy it then you can paste it here then now uh, it depends on what you want to do if you want to install the panel or the wings or both of them so for this i'm going to show you how to do both of them because you might want to install both of them together so now you can just like uh, enter that and you have to just go with the script so you can just type enter for random generated and then again enter and then you can add your email so i'm just going to add like an example email i'm not going to add my exact email and then you could add your uh, email for admin account so admin at admin.com uh, username i'm just going to put admin uh, first name is going to be admin again admin and the password let's just put admin for that too uh, and for the panel so now I have to do so now what I need to do is I just need to go back get the IP uh, go to my domain so this is my domain so add a record so I can just do panel so so I can just put panel here uh, and you, you can let that stay if you want uh, but I guess some people just turn that off so you can do that and now you can do panel arrow site so let me do that Y and you have to put Y again it's going to take a while sometimes and then put Y again and then uh, it says that the DNS was verified uh, so you just make sure that you're waiting like 5 minutes after updating the records because sometimes it can fail so you can just put Y again it's even going to add the firewall by itself here so you don't need to worry about that so it's going to ask you this uh, and you can just put yes and I think it's almost done with the installation so it's just going to go through all that X and then you can put Y again here and then now it's going to request a certificate for your panel so yeah it's done uh, now you can go for the wings installation so before you continue there i'll just show you the panel here so add it on site so as you can see it's been installed uh, you can just type admin at admin.com and admin so yeah that's how it's installed so before we continue with the wings let's add the location so uh, i don't remember the location so i'll just put like uh, location one and i need to add the node so before we add the node let's add a record so uh, it's the same ip so if i do node one and then let me just copy this ip uh, and i can do that so now i can just say node one arrow than site and then you can add the name so node one and then you can add the memory here so like that uh, and the space uh you can just add how much ever uh space you bought or how much of a space you're using and then here you could put the ip here so just put the ip uh, let me just remove the space and then you could add the alias if you want so arrow than site and then you could add the ports like this uh, so this is a trick actually that no one knows i mean many people do but some of you don't so if you do this uh, you can add multiple ports so that's how you can add multiple ports uh, it's pretty cool so now you just need to go to the configuration and now let's go back to the uh, installation so now you can just do that and then you can do n for that and uh, you can do n you now you have to do y for that and then you need to add the node uh, fqdn so uh, arrow than site and then again y and then uh, you can just add the email so like admin at admin.com so you can just proceed with the installation so that's pretty much how uh, wings are installed and it's going to tell you to do something at the end okay so now the wings have been installed so what you need to do is you need to go back to your uh, nodes configuration here and then you can uh, auto deploy it so you can just do that you can just copy paste it uh, and then you need to paste it in the directory here so it just does that and now you need to do sudo wings uh, to find out if it's working so as you can see it's working so now what you need to do is you just need to do systemctl restart no not restart start wings and that pretty much starts the wings 
So let me just go to the nodes and show you that it's working. So it's the latest things. And yeah, that's pretty much how you install Predator Duck. If you like the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more similar content. See ya.